So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give each of you a piece of paper. On this piece of paper, I'd like you to write three things that you would like to share with the rest of the group. But I would like you to write it, fold it over. After about two minutes, I'll collect them in this box. And then we will uh, present a randomly selected um, three facts about everyone. volunteering for development and you'll see the award program. Tomorrow we need two jurors to give an input at 12 o'clock on what the lessons are that you have got from this juror process. <laughs> so he cut me off at the... <laughs> you, you know that this is gonna end. No. <laughs> For now we are evaluating the Durbanville Children's Home and they read the applications, the application in Brussels. So we are going to, um, to stress the strongest point. I say the volunteer statement is missing, therefore we couldn't judge the application. And, uh, for and future, that was for one of the criteria for judging. Which one? The volunteer statement? Yes. Yeah. That was one of the criteria. So in future, they should uh, follow the, the, the guidelines and the criteria. They have nice, good volunteers. And in, in if place. they didn't have the time, couldn't they just ask you for more time? Or? But there would be a question of um, what did they do when you find out that they used um, the fake volunteer? Why wouldn't we give them time for another volunteer that is there to write to us and give us um, the relevant testimonial? Well, how can we trust them again that they are going to provide us with the yeah. volunteer? Because we contacted the volunteer who was listed on the volunteer statement and they didn't know anything about the yeah, volunteer yeah, at all. Yeah, yeah. Another so we can just write to them and tell them that um, you really disappointed us and you've, you've lost our trust. <laughs> <laughs> I would say no, we invite them to apply again next year because as yeah, so sure, long as they, sure. they project was very highly scored and very highly... Yes. Um, considered.
There's, there is a discussion with the partners concerning uh, some of the projects that are running uh, that they do not have sufficient funding for, that, which means that for each, uh, they, they ask that the standing organization for each project they have, well, for each volunteer, sorry, that they will that will come, if they can um, sort of add on to the to the, the sum that they will pay for sending the volunteer, if they can add on a, a small sum for this certain project. So there is an orphanage, for example, if, if um, yeah, if each volunteer will sort of bring a sum of money to, the, to that project. Uh, but it's a sending organization that would, uh, that would give the money. So in that sense, okay. they can discuss the questions. Great. And from the sending organization side? Try to focus on when selecting the participants. I think it's um, exactly what Helene uh, highlighted before. Um, trying to select motivated participants who travel to learn and not to teach. How are you going to develop yourself? Because you know, it's always misunderstood and you're not going there to develop. It, it's a personal development and it's an enrichment for both sides. So that's... We, we even haven't written down in, in our, the application, the confirmation forms the, our applicants get that they do not do development ed. I think the whole program from our sending side is uh, this working on this development and this approach to the South uh, not only seeing them as people who need help. I guess this is part of the whole idea. organization like Welts that how do we make them aware that there are people out there that are not distributing the wealth and that are keeping the funding for themselves and it's not reaching the project and it's not reaching the volunteers where it should be because it is a big problem so you know do we not need to report that back somehow what do we do with that information so for sustainability and for the development of the grassroots projects um, we can maybe make some recommendations in the final report, which somehow we can pull out and disseminate, I don't know. I think this is our national responsibility to do so. We can, if we meet with other organizations, we, we can say, look, this, the benefit of our organization is proved. So what you could do as South Africans is Someone yeah, working in the same direction if you think this is a good idea. That's yeah. what talking about. I think that that is the crux of, of what we need in, 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 in our region. Uh, minimum standards, I'm sure, yeah, which will qualify you as a partner organization and as a, as a host organization. And that if host organizations are not feeling that they've got in a healthy relationship with a partner, that they name and shape them. And that 
we say, you know, the people who, who are, are, are sending volunteers to this host organization, he's not playing the game yet because what often happens in host organizations is that they don't know who the sending organization actually is because they are dealing with the intermediary.